Hello, everyone, and welcome to MathX. In this video, we're going to do this very interesting math question. x plus y is equal to 7 the square root of xy, and we need to find x over y. Okay, I think it makes sense to square both sides of the equation to get rid of this radical sign. Let's do that. So we're going to use the first binomial formula, x squared plus y squared is equal to 2xy. And the right-hand side will be 49xy. Okay, let's have everything on the left side. We're going to get x squared plus y squared minus 47xy is equal to zero. So this is the tricky part, okay? Let's divide, okay, all terms by x, y. Well, to do that, we need to check something. You see, uh, when, you, when you see the equation, x and y could both be zero. And if that's the case, then x over y will be undefined. So let's just write here, this is true when x and y are not zero. So now let's actually divide. The first term will be x over y because one x and x is canceled. The second term, y's are canceled. And the third term will be negative 47 because x, y is canceled by x, y. And zero divided by any number that is not zero again will be zero, okay. Now, let's just uh, call x over y t. So this will turn into an equation that we're more comfortable with, right? Is equal to zero. Let me go down a little. Okay, now let's multiply each term by t. When we do so, we'll get a quadratic equation. Again, it's equal to zero. I'll be smaller. Okay. So we need to deal with this now, okay? So we have this quadratic formula in case you have forgotten it, okay? The first term is A, 40, negative 47 is B, and one is C. Let's apply the formula. Positive 47 plus minus the square root of B squared, which is 47 squared minus four AC, which is only four. So now to find uh, 47 squared, let's just use the second binomial formula. 50 squared is 2,500 plus nine, which is three squared minus 300. So that's the value for 47 squared. And we minus it by five. So we're gonna get 2,205. Two thousand two hundred and five is equal to five times four hundred forty one, and I think a lot of you know, twenty one squared is four hundred forty one. Okay. So instead of two thousand two hundred and five, we're gonna write twenty one square root of five. Okay, and here we have to check something, right? Because uh, let's see here, x over y, x y is supposed to be larger than zero. Okay. Of course, if they are real numbers. Okay, if that's the case, okay, x over y should also be positive, right? Because here x and y should have the same signs, maybe both positive, both negatives. And x over y is, will then be positive. And x over one, x over y was t. Okay, so that means both of these should be positive. The first one is obviously positive. Okay, the second y, is that positive or is it negative? Okay, let's compare these two. So remember, this 21 is square root of five was the result of this. And as you see, this is 47 squared minus four. So this is just a slightly smaller than 47, okay? So 
This is a smaller than 47. So 47 minus something a little smaller is positive. So actually both of these solutions are correct and the answer to the question. If you found the video useful, make sure that you like the video before you go.